Hello friends, my name is Claire, and for this week's video, I'm going to be doing University Housing in The Sims 4. So, I had this idea a while ago to do a Dark Academia school, which kind of sounded overwhelming to do an entire, like, high school, but I wanted it to be, like, a boarding school, kind of like Hogwarts or other kind of, like, boarding schools or just like normal colleges or universities so I did make this university housing for that reason so we are just going starting off in this little front courtyard area I wanted this just to be a nice gathering spot for your sims to do school outside and now we are inside. I wanted this front area to feel very foyer, very castle-like. I am using some items from the castle kit, like the doors, but the wallpaper in all the rooms is from the vampire pack, and so I was kind of imagining that this housing would be for somewhat of an, an elite group of students who have ancestors who are somehow tied to royalty or to this area of the world and so they kind of the more rich and stuff and we are just going to be adding some flowers into the outside. I wanted this house or this air boarding house to have a lot of layers to it, especially with the landscaping. I know I don't really show much of the landscaping, but this is a large building in of itself. It's three levels, and so I wanted to focus this video more on the interiors of this house, and so we do have a little, like, debate station right here. I wanted, like, this first level to be more, like, studying and, like, sc school related, and then there's items on the second and third level that are more gaming or hanging out areas and so I took so much in so much inspiration from the Pinterest and Google for when it came to searching for dark academia libraries and I wanted this to be wall to wall bookshelf and I feel like this area turned out pretty well. I did want this library to be two stories but I decided to just keep it in this little area because I wanted this housing to be able to house more sims. It can house up to six sims and originally this lot could only sleep four sims and so just having that extra little bit can make it easier or you have more options to know where your sims want to sleep and so we are just going to be continuing on with this bookshelf library. I really wanted this area to be surrounded by books and there is work spaces like in front of the bookshelves and so I really wanted this to be a very study-esque spot and I'm going to do just change the colors. I really do love the book nook kit that came with so many different swatches. I was thinking about if I should have like a more fancy looking bookshelf since this is a fancy building, but I decided on to on to just use the book nook cook be because of like the floor to ceiling shelving I could get easily. So we are just going to be adding some chairs now for the little study stations. And I really like this idea of having the book the desk right next up to the bookshelves and so now we're just going to be adding more books. I really wanted this to feel old and I feel like adding like a whole entire library about like was the best option. And so we are just going to be just finishing up surrounding all the walls with books. I don't really have any room for art. So I did just use some smaller art pieces 
and I placed two of them over the window because I just thought that looked kind of cool. I don't know why exactly, just like the layers I was kind of talking about earlier in the video. And so we are just going to be adding some small artwork and later on we do come back to add some more artwork like over the windows and so now we are just going to be finishing up in this library. I do come back to add rugs underneath each table because I just like needed a little like pop of light even though I was trying to keep this dark academia I do tend to gravitate towards more lighter style of furniture but this was still a fun video to do kind of take me out of my comfort zone and I've been thinking about doing a video like this and a build like this for a while and so I feel like it kind of helped to stew and to think about how I wanted this house to be and so we are just going to be adding some more like tapestry from the vampires pack and we are now in the first storm and I wanted this to kind of be the map of how I would lay out the other two so when you first walk in you are in the kitchen slash dining area in the original house that I bulldozed to make room for this house. I noticed that there was like a community kitchen, but I wanted to be a little bit more elevated, and so that's why each individual space has a kitchen. So you instead of sharing a refrigerator with six sims, you can you will only be sharing a refrigerator with two sims so in the actual like dorm room bedroom area i wanted it to be very simple so your sims can bring their own things their own style into the space i was just trying to make it feel very ornate in that style and I do still use kind of more like dorm room style desks and like uh, wardrobes. And so I didn't want to like overly personalize each space, but I did want to like make like a little bit of like interest in the rooms or a little bit of personality, I should say. And so we are just going to be adding school flags. I did build this on the Brightchester side of the Discovery University world instead of the Foxborough side, Foxbury side of the university world. And that's just because the Brightchester like logo has that shield you can see and it's a little bit more older so I feel like it kind of made sense to have this like dark academia castle looking building on the Brightchester side instead of the Foxbury side and so we are just going to add a bookshelf but I do get rid of that and I do eventually add a fireplace I just don't show it on this video and so if you want to see where I put the fireplace you can go to the screenshots and now we are just going and adding some more wall decorations. I didn't think to add too much like fancy artwork. I was trying to keep it pretty university based like adding a whiteboard and like a little like calendar thing and so we are just going to be adding that as I speak and I did change the colors of the desk to be more darker. I felt like that just kind of matched and it kind of hides that the beds have different color bed frames. So we are just going to be adding backpacks. I try to add a backpack in each room by each spot and so we are just going to be adding a little bit of clutter onto the desk. I did not want to like overwhelm the desk just because that's like where your sims will be doing their homework and a reason why I kept the room kind of simple 
and not like too much stuff like in the middle of the room is because sometimes your sims might need to make like a presentation board and I know if my playing this game you need some space to do that and so I wanted to make sure I provided that if you want to play in this student housing university housing anyway we are in the first bathroom on this level and I didn't really add any like community bathrooms like in the hallways I just kind of stuck all of the bathrooms attached to the dorm rooms and I thought that was simpler instead of having like one shared bathroom and this is the only bathroom I will be showing on camera because I was thinking that I would just keep them all the same but I did actually end up doing some different things but it's just a little tricky to integrate that footage so if you want to edit it in other bathrooms you might as well go and check it out on the sims for gallery i don't have it posted yet as the point of recording this voiceover but if you are interested you can go down into the description all the information should be down there along with the price and the size of the lot this is built on so this is an area i wanted to make more like a game hangout area it's more of like a standing hangout area but i did want to make sure there was like spaces for these roommates to hang out at and so we got a ping pong table got a foosball table got kind of more like a formal sitting area and that stone does like lead up into the third level and so that's kind of why that's a little bit different but now we are in the second dorm and for this room i decided to go for the mini fridge option with the microwave on top so there is a little bit more prep space for these sims even though you don't really need prep food because it's mostly just quick meals you can have here but you can like go off the lot to go to a like restaurant cafeteria area that also has like book books and study areas but i know it's sometimes hard to have like the loading screens and so i decided to make an area where you don't have to go to that building to have food although that food would probably be easier to fill your sims hunger bar up a little bit more and so now we are just in the first dorm again and i decided to come back here because i'm like oh wait did i add like clothing storage like dressers and i did not so that's what we are currently doing but i do change it again after I was recording for that fireplace and so now we are just going to be adding like a lot of like clothing storage in here and so we do add the shorter storage option along with the bigger wardrobe and I feel like adding these little like Funko Pop looking figurines was kind of a cute idea I don't know the like the sims version name but we are back in the second dorm making sure i get the dressers so i don't forget them again and i do just kind of keep this layout similar to the layout on the first floor and so we just have beds with side tables and dark wood little dressers and desks i didn't keep these dark like black because i wanted it to match the dresser and so for one of these sims i was matching they would begin to music and so i do add a guitar by the end of their bed and so we are just going to be adding just a little bit of clutter like i said in the first storm just to give it a little bit of personality but also make it easy for your sims or you to add your sims personality into this space and so 
now we are just going to be adding just a little bit of personality again trying to keep it simple but i did want to have some like decoration to didn't want to leave this area bare and so we do have some school flags and going to be adding some lamps and so again pretty simple space and i just wanted to make sure your sims have what they need but i didn't want it to look like carbon copies and so some of these furniture swatches are a little bit bold like that yellow calendar whiteboard and we are just going to be adding a chair into this room i really wanted this to feel similar to the first dorm but not like exact so we are now in the third and final dorm area and i wanted to start off with the kitchen just since it is like the first thing you would see if you're walking into this space and it does have its own dining room like the other two spaces and i I try to keep it different with the colors but still cohesive with the styles and you can see we're just now in the like bedroom part of the dorm and I did try to go with a different furniture layout than the previous two and so we are just going to be adding a desk and a dresser and of course had to make the dresser and desk could be in a different swatch just to help bring some different some variety into each of these dorms and now we are just going to be adding curtains but the curtains made the most sense to be cohesive and i did try to go with black curtains one because it's dark academia two black curtains they're the best and so we are just going to be adding some little like i don't exactly know what they are but the little like pin board things and we are just going to be adding some lamps onto each of the desks i decided that the first two look so good that the other four needed to have one on each as well and so we are just going to be changing colors and so and now we are just going to be doing just slight little rearranging and i do make a little like bump out in this area because the railing was clipping through the walls and it just kind of did help with making this area feel a little bit different and so we are just going to be adding some historic pictures from the get together pack i feel like this made the most sense because i wanted it to feel very old like i keep saying and i feel like having like historic pictures like that kind of like tan filter pictures just kind of helped like tell that story and so we are just going to be adding some like decorations onto the walls in this a dorm area and i was trying to keep all of these posters very generic looking and so we are just going to be adding like kind of like the school mascot poster and then like one kind of like more personality picture and so we are just going to be adding this like little banner into like more of the common areas i feel like this made sense it's like kind of more like school pride and maybe school events that are coming up like this like maybe like the building university office has control over like this foyer area that i was talking about in the beginning of the video and so they can change out those like posters and so now we are on the third level and i wanted this flooring to be a little bit darker to to symbolize that it is a different space it was originally an attic but previous students have turned it into more of like fun hangout area with tv i don't really add anything 
else like game wise up here besides don't wake the llama table but when I was playing with university it was during the season's event of New Year's and everybody's gathered by the TV and so if you happen to be playing Discovery University and you have the season's pack your sims won't have a bad holiday because they're his tv and they can watch the countdown of the event so we are just going to be adding some curtains up here i try and keep this area like the most simple common area just since it's like up in the attic maybe your sims are more mostly studying and so we are just going to be getting close to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed watching if you did please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and if you've made it this far comment down below a pineapple so i know that you have watched the whole thing basically so we are just going to be adding a few more like historic fancy pictures up in this attic space and then we are going to be heading into screenshots so i hope to see you all next week for a, another sims for video and if you have any ideas for me to build leave them down in the comments so i hope to see you then bye